Welcome back to another day here on the Pixelborn Lorcana Client. Today I'm trying something special. This video has taken almost three days to put together. Today we are playing Commander in Lorcana, or rather our best version of it. We have to stick to the restrictions that Pixelborn gives us, i.e. there's no place for a commander. There's no technical rules for a commander in this game. Uh, so we're so I come up with my own rules that work with Pixelborn. It's a hundred card singleton deck in still the two colors no multicolor you know no three four or five color it's still the two color restriction so you could do one color if you wanted not sure there's enough cards for it but that's what we're doing today this big old list is my hundred card singleton deck my commander deck they should definitely call it a uh, companion if they ever made a version of this though Canyon for sure this deck is focused around one main thing removal it wants to be able to take out stuff teeth and ambition strength of raging fire whole new world just for a new hand be prepared let the storm rage on along came zeus grab your swords but boom fire the cannon smash dragon fire uh on your feet is just a nice little tech i don't know if how well that'll work a ton of locations i really wanted to go location heavy because i think the locations can add a lot especially in a format like this uh is there just something that hits the board they change how the game is being played since you know you're not gonna be playing the same game every game it's very random we're also running a ton of really powerful cards goofy that for a day maui demigod maleficent monstrous dragon gantu queen of hearts simba mickey mouse all a bunch of stuff where's where's the other one uh Mufasa's in here somewhere on the seven drop. There's a, there he is, Mufasa with his 10 willpower. Holy smokes, this guy demands removal. Very hard to just attack and deal with. And then of course the lower end. What I'm finding with these games, and will probably be true until, you know, unless it becomes a, an official format people can play, making sure you mulligan to a very cheap opening hand is critical. If you find yourself stuck with a handful of like four drops and higher, you've lost the game. <laughs> The game's probably over for you. But I've had a couple of people build some decks. We've queued up specifically with each other because it's not a, a supported format on the Pixelborn client. So let's jump in and see how I do against my Discord community. This shall be interesting. 100 card singleton. I gotta imagine games are gonna be pretty slow. So let's get rid of everything the most expensive stuff, and I'll keep the cheapest stuff. I want to try to establish a curve if I can. Okay, there's kind of a curve here. Probably going to be inking the Goofy. I decided to include him because we have the Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Which is great. Whatever they ink, right? This, never going to see it again. I got a couple of uh, item themed cards off the bat. Good for them. Gonna ink a goofy past the turn. This shall be pretty interesting. A Smee followed up by a Maui's Place of Exile. We can move Smee there. And then he won't take the damage for not having a Capitan. Oh, and they got the one drop. Good for them. I think Donald Ducks is just a little better. Let's go for the Mr. Smee. I think the hardest part with this is going to be card draw. <laughs> Singleton. So this is kind of like Commander. Just without the Commander. <laughs> Oh, I'm super excited for this. Pluto. Not upset about seeing that gone. Scrooge's top hat. Another one less for the next item. Another item based thing. That's interesting. Uh, I think we just got to go for Mr. Smee here, right? I really want the Cinderella, but I want to keep my removal as well. Razul's going to be good, though, because it is a, it is a captain to go with Mr. Smee. I think we're going to get rid of Shere Khan. All right, we move Mr. Smee. We get the resist, so we take out Cinderella, take no damage. 
And then additionally, we should take no damage. There it is, taking no damage from Mr. Smee's ability. It looks like they're thinking about activating that top hat, so they must have an item. If you have a character, it's one less. Okay, so they need to have a character there first. That costs two. It's kind of expensive, isn't it? But between Pluto and Lantern, they can still drop a four drop. Got to imagine they're going for an item here. Nothing. I like it. Okay, I'm thinking about smashing the Pluto and attacking the Bell's house. But it's not generating anything, so I'm not super scared of it. Perhaps I go for Donald Duck. I think we're questing no matter what. Alright, let's ink. What am I going to ink? Mickey Mouse. Of course. He's cool, but he's expensive. Let's get rid of that. And then this will allow my characters to have rush if I absolutely need it. Right? Characters gain rush while here. Pirates can move there for free. There's a little bit of a pirate theme going on here. I grab pretty much every pirate. <laughs> All right, you're just a little expensive. Let's go for the Donald Duck. I will go for the bodyguard since it only costs one. Maui's Place of Exile looking good. It's a pretty sweet location to get to start the game with. Grandma Tala, gone. One less for the next item. It's a lucky dime. Oh, I do like me a Kronk. I'm gonna go for Kronk. Haven't needed the Jolly Roger just yet. At this rate, by the time, you know, my stuff's so expensive, I just play it and don't have anything left over. Rapunzel! There's that lucky dime starting to put some work in. Hmm, I maybe just need to use it, right? Just to get an inkable? Alright, you'll sing it. I know it doesn't finish it off. There it is, an inkable. Thank you. That 10 is nice, but I think the resist on Cinderella is better. Alright, we're looking pretty good. <laughs> and I think that's not quite game. I only go to 19. Alright, I think I'm going to take game one here. Uh, I think I just go for it, right? Can't rush with Tink, it's just too expensive. So I think we're just questing. And because I can, let's just move. Just for fun, right? Ah, uh, let's move you over here. Triple resist, why not? That's resist three right there, baby. All right, Maui's Place of Exile, coming in clutch, letting that Mr. Smee do some work. All right, well, I know it's in my opponent's hand. I know they can't draw any more cards. Good game, opponent. I'll see you in game two. That's right, gain that extra lore. Just want him to see what I had. I am rush. I'll take out the Pongo. See that Jolly Roger's good. That Jolly Roger's good. 
Yes, let's do another one. Round two. All right, same concept. I just got to get some early play, so I'm going to pretty much get rid of everything. I might hold on to beasts, though. The extra card draw could just be so stellar. Okay, we got us a curve. Well, a curve. We definitely have plays across the early turns. That's what we're looking for. Definitely inking dragon. All right, owl is gone forever. And here's Akita. Cards can move there for free and they just have rush. It's not the best card in the deck. Uh, but let's start with the Jolly Roger. They don't know I have a Captain Hook. So, Captain Hook could come down and possibly take out something important. I think Baloo costs three. That's who I'm thinking of attacking, but I think it costs three. There goes the Cogsworth. Oh, I like this. I like this a lot because it's so hard to predict, right? That Wendy darling I'll definitely take take out. Uh, I have no two drops. So it's basically Captain Hook or Bust. Uh, I do really like the resist, but, you know, he's just a little stronger. Let's get rid of Hans. Now I could attack, but I won't attack because Wendy darling is such a juicy target. There goes a Mickey Mouse. Alright, Simba's as good a target as any, but they didn't go bodyguard with it. Well, they didn't go bodyguard. Slow him down and control the board. Sorry, Aladdin. There's a... No chance I'm playing you this game. Bodyguard Hercules. Now it's hard for my Captain Hook to get defeated. Kappa. I recognize the name. I think I've played against Kappa just in the wild before. Ooh, a Pride Lands. That's good. I'll definitely have to defeat that Simba. I think there's just no way around it. I have to defeat that Simba. Can't let that stand. During your tournament of this character, banishes another character. Challenge ready this character. <sighs> He's good. He is good. I think Jafar's sweet too, though. I want, I want two bodyguards, but I think Jafar's just a little better. Alright, pass turn. That's right, Pride Lands actually gains lore. I'm gonna wanna do something about that. Oh, that is not what I was clicking on. There we go. Characters gain evasive while here. And if I have a character, it's cheaper to move here. Okay. Oh, the Maui's Place of Exile is fantastic. Oh, you're a pirate though, right? So you get to move there for free? Yes. Sorry, Maui's Place of Exile. You're fantastic, but I think taking out the location is just so much better. And I'll lose Hercules to Kida. See, there's a subtle pirate thing going on. <laughs> Now I'm curious, what happens if a bodyguard has evasive? Do they- can they not attack? Or can they just choose to attack other stuff? I don't think I've ever had a bodyguard with evasive before. We'll see if they let me get to it. Cost three to move there though. 
think beast is just the way to go. Ink the Aladdin. Alright, Beast should be huge. I think they will probably trade the Hercules now. Which is unfortunate. I really would love to see how the evasive bodyguard works. I'm not clicking on Beast here. Okay, fine. Don't show me. Bodyguard, this character may enter play. Exert an opposing character who challenges one of your characters. Must choose one with bodyguard if able. Okay, so I think evasive on that is actually bad, right? Because they won't be able, so it allows them to attack other stuff. That's sh that's how I read it should work. I don't know if that's how it will work, though. This is Pixelborn. What does this Heart of Defeaty do? Pay two and do something? Look at the top card and ink it. No, you don't get a look at the top. You just put the top card into the ink well, okay. Oh, those are nice. While this character is exerted, opposing characters with evasive gain reckless. Interesting. You already have Rush on you. So I got two Captain Hooks off the top. That's funny. Let's get you down and let's... Oh, it costs three. I... Oh, and I can't ink. No, don't make that mistake. Jafar draws me a card. I could get the ink for the beast. There we go. I got the ink for the beast. There we go. Now we're looking good. That beast is going to be real tough to deal with now. Considering they're not a damage dealing deck. Oh, I just noticed in these challenge modes you can't see their deck colors. Perdita. Doesn't that bring something out of the grave for free? When you play this character and whenever she quests, you get something for two or less for free from your just card. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Ooh, that Mufasa, though, looking good. I could shift the Hercules for some surprise lore. Only one surprise lore, but it's surprise lore all the same. I think we're just questing for victory, though. Mufasa! Mufasa and RLS Legacy. Just those two together on the board is lethal. So, never mind the other four characters in play. <laughs> Wendy, darling! And a Chernabog. You gonna attack it? Oh, you can't attack. What are you thinking? What's it? What do you got? You can't sing. You're just looking at stuff? They're just looking at stuff. All right. Between that and Mufasa for the win. Heck yeah. 100 card singleton. Here we go again. This video is going to take several days to make, so shirt change. <laughs> All right. Cheap stuff. If I've learned anything, we want cheap stuff. I'm going to send back my two 8-drops. Definitely don't need them this early. Okay. Feeling pretty confident. Little John's pretty nice, though. And I do have a bodyguard to pair with it. Stitch into Cindy Rally. All right, that's one of my few card draw cards. Maybe I need to hold on to that. Lots of fantastic options here. Let's get rid of Captain. I know he's a curve filler, but... Oh, dinner bell's good too. Not sure how much damage we'll be getting, but let's get rid of the uninkable. That's a fantastic card. That hurts, but I really like our opening hand. Lantern for the opponent, too. 
No song, I like that. I think I will just flat out destroy their character. Hit it with the teeth. Let's do away with Jafar and let's go Kita Bodyguard. Okay. Kita Bodyguard. If it survives all the way up to our uh, little John, that'd be sweet, but <laughs> not gonna count on it. Minnie Mouse. Oh, that's got a pretty cheap curve. I like it. Ooh, the bodyguards are really starting to roll in. Okay. Well, I think I need to just start taking stuff out, right? I think Kita's pretty straightforward. Doesn't die to Rapunzel. Trades with Minnie Mouse. Could take out the Minnie Mouse. But I think I want to develop my board. Oh, it's tough. Because I do want to keep the card draw. Alright. I'm very interested in this Little John. Especially because I keep getting bodyguards. Alright, what do we think of my bodyguards, opponent? Pluto? Make something cheaper, but what are you gonna play? I was thinking about using teeth with the prince, but now we will defeat our, our prince if we do that. Okay, so... You are just far too expensive, aren't you? I think we're gonna give up some board position here. How do I want to play this? Start taking out their stuff. Prince freely gets to attack Rapunzel, but I think it's just better to be questing. I think we're gonna quest here, and I'm going to... Take out the Pluto. Take away some of that ramp. Now, if I get a song off the top, technically I could ink Little John, play Beast Mary, and draw a card with it. I just don't think that's the way it's going to work out. Alright. What are we going to see? Nothing. I like it. Uh, the Beast Mirror, I think, is going to just be too good to give up. And I think we just take care of Rapunzel while we got it. Last turn. Alright. Watch us get stuck with a bunch of uninkables now, and Beast Mirror's gonna be really hard to use. Chernabog! Well... <laughs> Deck is full of removal, so... I was right, though. I did call the fact that it was gonna be uninkable off the top. <laughs> Got a big boy Stitch. Lady Tremaine's really good. A little better than the Beast Mirror, unfortunately, in this situation, but... Got the well played from the opponent. Alright, we're both pretty, pretty much just in top deck mode. Didn't go exactly as I planned it, but... Still got some good stuff. Lucky's really good. I think we're just questing. Opponent, doesn't matter if opponent gets value off of that, that Lucky there. They need to stop us from winning the game with our characters. 
And the Kita bodyguard is looking pretty good. So we get to draw two of those. And they could play them both, it's just not going to be enough. Man, I'm really enjoying this 100 card singleton. It's just... It's wild. Miss, miss, miss. Oof. You hate to see it. Alright, we'll quest for victory. We'll go to game two. Except, here we go. There we go. I had to send him a message and be like, hey, hey, it's best of three. Best of three. <laughs> okay, well. Got a little bit of a curve here. Let's get rid of the expensive stuff. It's really just those three, isn't it? Okay, I like it. Nice and cheap, early to get on the board. I know my opponent is rocking some pretty big characters though. I gotta be mindful of that. Oh, Capitan Hook. Let's see, right now it's the turn four that's the scary turn for Stitch. Piglet's gonna be a problem, I need to take that out too. Okay, what's the best way to do this? Do I get a character down? I need to punk the piglet right now. Otherwise it's gonna get out of hand pretty quick. I definitely need another character down so my strength will take out their stuff, but I won't be able to get a character down until next turn. Sorry, LeFou. LeFou the LeFou. All right. I don't know if we're going to be able to take out Big Stitch in time. Or to stop him from shifting. There should only be one in his deck, so the likelihood of him, of him having Shift Stitch is very low. Got a mini Mouse. Definitely want to get my board growing. Ooh. I like all my cards. Alright, get my three drop down. Pass the turn. I don't have any way to draw cards at the moment. Alright, there goes a Mulan. This could be the shift stitch turn if they have them. Be very lucky if they had them. Just a 5-3. Just a 5-3. Oh, whenever this character quests, your characters gain evasive. That's how we take down the Minnie Mouse. That's great. But... I do want to play multiple characters. To play multiple characters though means I have to sing with Prince or John Silver. So Captain Hook has to be the one attacking. Hmm, I think I'm gonna go Gaston here. It's three characters. That'll take out their big attacker. And it doesn't feel great, but it feels necessary. And I need to ink. Alright. This character needs a quest, so I can't just get him down and take out Minnie Mouse. I have to get him down, wait a turn, and then I'll have the chance or the opportunity, depending if they quest with the Minnie Mouse or not, to take it out. Bare necessities. There's nothing to take from my hand. Now there is. But I'm gonna ink it. Alright, I have the ability to attack your Minnie Mouse now. Della Duck. Just reckless. Alright, my characters gain evasive, so there goes the Minnie Mouse. 
no rush on this character. But I will play it as a bodyguard so I can continue questing. Alright, well, it's down to one card in hand. My board position is pretty strong. Perdita! It's gonna allow them to rebuild their board. Good thing Namari can attack that Biglet. Jolly Roger, you say? Oh, uh, it doesn't do anything other than rush, but it does bump John Silver. And I need to take out that Perdita, because otherwise they'll just replay Piglet again. How do I want to do this? Maui take out Della. Costs two, so Della gets to just come right back. From the discard. Straight to the field, yeah. Okay. The resist is great. It's too bad the evasive doesn't last. Oh, I have to attack. Right. Reckless. <laughs> Has to attack. Maybe I should have taken out the piglet. But if Perdita quests, then it's no longer an issue. Oh, uh, there goes my uh, evasive. Unless they want to take out the John Silver. I don't think they would ever go after Namari here. Not with damage on it. Hmm, if I were them, I'd probably take out Li Shang. It just has such a bigger butt on it. Gontu's nice, I just can't do anything with it. Alright, Perdita needs to go. I do have other expensive cards in the deck, so I am going to ink this. I want to maximize my chances of taking out that stuff. Alright, pretty much just trading boards here now. Moving into a top deck game. I have a feeling my opponent's deck is going to be a lot better at the top deck. Got to imagine Madame Medusa takes out Li Shang. Pretty much just a safe attack. I mean, Maui's got a lot of work cut out for him. Jolly Roger doesn't gain any lore, so it doesn't do anything. Drawing a pirate <laughs> would be timely. It's any character gains rush, right? Not a pirate, but a sweet guard. All right, let's take out the heavy hitter. I could have taken out Della Duck. And then still had Maui behind. I also think I'm in Teika down to have the extra damage, right? Or is it just when she... Just when she kills a thing, I still gain it. So she can attack. As if she's questing. 100 cards! It's <laughs> Gotta keep them all straight! Especially these ones where you're like, I don't play a lot of these. Uh, whenever you're ready this character, if you have two or more other characters to play, you gain two lore. You think about inking it? Because you can't do anything else. Right? Robin Hood can't sing a song. He just came out. Uh, nothing is free to play in this game. Not without some work. Hey, there's a sweet card. Get rid of that Robin Hood. I'll take out the Della Duck. I'll still gain the... Uh, the lore is if I quested. Sweet top deck. Alright, opponent's got two cards in hand. I have board position. And it's a tied game on the lore. Dalmatian, that's not what you want to see. Alright, we're just questing. Passing turn. The rush doesn't really matter anymore. Unless they play something that has to come down exerted. Hades. Their best card's a Perdita, I think. But they want to race. Oh, a bodyguard? Do 
Bodyguard is pretty good. So now they gotta take out Kida before they even have a chance to attack Teika, who is the lethal target. They basically have to do- they have to take everything out, right? One damage from Mini is not enough to take down Teika. Well played from the opponent! And I think that's gonna do it. I'll give him the well played as well. This was a- this is probably my closest game so far. Very fun. Alright, let's not drag it out. Good game, opponent. Three lifer G. I think I've played a game in the wild with you before. Alright, here we go. Oh, uh, I have a three drop. <laughs> Has my luck finally run out? Oh, another three drop. Two drop. Two drops good. Two drop. Okay. Oh, and the Mickey Mouse. I'm so interested in this. It just dies to everything, right? It maybe gets a thing out, and then it's gone. But I'm very interested in it. Uh, I have a lot of unequables, so I'm actually not too upset about having to discard here. Alright, let's just get rid of the most expensive thing. Pass the turn. Clifford Big Red. Or Cliffy the Big Red here on Pixelborn, it looks like. I've changed my camera. I'm trying to figure out how to get a flatter focus. But when I put a flatter focus, it became so incredibly dark. I shouldn't have worn a black shirt. <laughs> it's not even black. This is, this is a this is a gray shirt. <laughs> uh, let's go Mr. Smee, shall we? I kind of really want to keep this too. Oh, I like all my cards. That's always my problem, though. I like all my cards all the time. You know what's funny is the cards that I'm like, eh, about, they're the unequables. Like, I would get rid of these pretty quick. <laughs> River character of yours named Hey Hey Quest. This character gets plus one or loses reckless. See, there is no Hey Hey in this deck. Seems like a good attack of all. A glass cannon. Well, I kind of want to get Razul down. I'll worry about ink in a moment. Razul has an attack while he has no damage. Oh, who to ink? They're all kind of good, aren't they? Sorry, Gaston. Now I just need something really big like a Goofy. Oh man, could you imagine if I top deck a Goofy? Mother knows best. That's probably Mr. Smee. Oh good, then I'll get to play. <laughs> That's right, it's the Ursula. I wasn't paying attention. It is the Ursula. I'll get a double play though. Where's all my removal? There's a lot of removal in this deck and I haven't seen any. Mm, not bad. Well, it's not really playing items. Get a double play. They sure did get a lot of uh, lore while I'm trying to establish board control. It's a lot of removal in this deck and I haven't gotten any of it. I might need to keep this Maui to take out that Cusco. Discarding the Mickey Mouse? I think so. Alright, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Maui for the Cusco, Jafar for Jafar stuff. Alright, is that gonna do it? 
I doubt it. I have a feeling my opponent's gonna be playing a lot of. Yeah, they just got Cusco back. That's another three lore. That's gonna be really tough to deal with. Now we can't do anything. I don't have a hey hey in the deck. <laughs> yeah, they just quest on Madame Mim here, and I think we're just in trouble. They'll probably attack and trade with something, but. Oh, they're checking for my captain status. I didn't have a captain status. I'm gonna do it anyway, though. There goes the Mr. Shmee. That Ursula singing that particular song, that was probably the game winning move. Ooh. Even though I take out Cusco, I lose to Ursula. Unless I get just stellar removal, dragon fire off the top. That's it, it has to be dragon fire. Oof. Can't even play you. Hey, not bad. So far, this is my first loss. It's not even a game loss yet. It's just a match loss. Or ma a match loss. It's just a game loss, not a match loss. I think that's what I said. That's what I meant to say. That's what I meant to say. There it is, bonus quest. Time for game two. My first defeat. Going first. This time, maybe ideally, I'll get some. Uh, wow, it's a lot of locations. Oh, it's all of the locations. <laughs> Except for uh, Maui. Uh, no, there's several. Let's see, I got a one drop. I use a good one drop, too. I can give my Mr. Smee Rush. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. They're expensive. Hmm, that is a lot of locations. Since <laughs> I know my opponent is somewhat aggro, I do definitely want something in play for attacking. Olaf. Mighty expensive. Mr. Shmee! Mega Ruff for the attack bump. Sneaky deck. Oh, it's got a lot of synergy. Let's just pass the turn. The odds of them having a snake or a fox are pretty low, but we'll see. I have no captain for my Mr. Shmee. Hmm. That uninkable's gonna hurt, isn't it? A little bit. <laughs> I don't want to get to gym. But it's not going to happen. It's just win off the back of my locations. They do a ton of work. They could take out the bayou if they want to spend their turn attacking it. Oh, going after Agrabah. Oh, it's got a really fun synergistic deck. Oh, the uninkables are going to kill me. That is what's interesting about a 100 card deck. 
the ratio is still roughly the same. It's still about 25% of my deck-ish. But 25% of a big deck is still 25 cards. I think there's more than that in here, actually. See, if I quest here, I'm going to lose Mr. Smee, right? He's just going to trade with Megara. I think we take out Olaf. Smee will take another point of damage. But in this way, I'm trying to make him a two for one. Oh, Lady Tremaine gets something off the top. Or off the top. Uh, an action out of the graveyard. <laughs> Befuddle. Alright, there's the two for one. Come on, I need ink off the top or we're gonna be in trouble. Thank you, deck. Alright, let's get rid of Peter Pan's shadow. Madame Medusa can take out Maleficent if they quest with it and then Lady Tremaine takes out another thing the Fuddle does nothing now on a roll man Clifford you are stellar at top decking great cards see that's a fantastic card not only do they gain a lore, but they get a look at the top five cards. Like, they know exactly what they're drawing into for the next five turns. I'm going in completely blind. That's what I was hoping for. I will take you out. And then it's an easy pickup on the other character. Got the well played from the opponent. They do know the top five cards of their deck. It could be that they're like, oh, I got nothing I wanted. Mad Hatter's a problem. However, it just dies to a uh, Madam Medusa, so perhaps I'm playing Robin Hood here. Just for the ink. All right, this takes him to 14. Yeah, okay, so they put a lot of really big characters. That Stitch will be a problem. Well, I have to take out the Mad Hatter. We'll go bodyguard, not that I think it matters. Alright, I got a big board. Boat has to win right now. And it's not gonna happen. Alright, there's gonna be a game three! Let's win with a Robin Hood. Naturally, going sad. Yep. <laughs> this feels like a tight game where whoever goes first actually matters. Alright, no one drop. Let's get rid of you. Well, I'm gonna keep the ink. Ooh, Kita and Hercules are both great. Both at a 2-3. Zul is nice though. I mean, he is a 1-3, but he is a 3-3 three, three to begin with. Yzma. Look at the top three, put them back on top in any order. At least opponent has a, a turn one play. I do not have a turn one play. And I'm going second. Come on, Captain Hook off the top. Alright, Clifford, you do have to push past turn. Thank you. Oh, it's just a Hercules gaming day. What was the whoop? Oh, whoops, because you didn't push the 
I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. So you cost four, so you'll come down on five. You'll come down on six. Uh, maybe I do want the beast mirror. Maybe I don't. This is a tough decision. I'll play you on three. How about that? Razul's got a slightly bigger initial attack. And we know that they play cards like Olaf. So I'll go Razul, Hercules, Hercules, Beast, Tank. Assuming I don't get forced to discard or, you know, anything crazy. I have not been doing well at drawing my removal. I did get the Lady Tremaine, Meta Medusa last game, but outside of that, I haven't been doing really hot at drawing my removal this particular match. No songs for you, but now you see a crap ton of Hercules. And my curve does look good. Sorry, Aladdin. Zul to fight the Ursula. I have two possible inkables. I I would like to keep the Beast Mirror, I think. I don't want to overvalue it, but... Basically, once your hand's empty, there's not a lot of ways to draw new cards. <laughs> Beast Mirror is at least a consistent, persistent uh, answer. Alright, I'm going to get rid of the Kita. And hope to draw an Inkable. If I don't draw an Inkable, we'll ink the Beast Mirror. Ooh, but that's a good Inkable too! you like normal. Let's get rid of this Ursula. Does reduce Razul's attack. But he's done his job. Hmm. My opponent surely has some kind of bounce shenanigans. <laughs> hey, Spellbook, I actually have a target. Hate to do it, but I got to do it. Hercules! My favorite. My favorite character. Archimedes, he's great ink. Alright, well we know they don't have an Yzma, right? That was the first thing they did. Alright, now they bounce Hercules. I think we ink Hercules. Now we're just building up to just casting him. Play the beast. Destroy the spell book. Pass the turn. Alright, feeling pretty good. I have more cards than my opponent. I have board presence. I'm ahead on lore. Ray will be a problem. I mean, I have the answer for it. Alright, you'll sing it. Ray will be gone. Have I inked? I have not inked. I think Tinkerbell's better. It doesn't take out anything right this second, but it does threaten to take out a lot of stuff. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for characters that do questing really well. Slash board control. Next turn will be Mufasa. Unless I get an uninkable, then I'll play Beast. Oh, well, he's inkable. Alright, let's close this game down. Just too much questing power to keep up with. Which is a little funny because that's exactly what my opponent's deck's trying to do. Be too much questing power to deal with. <laughs> At least that's what it feels like in the first couple of games. Heck, even this one they played an evasive ray. Alright, we don't necessarily win right now, but... If they quest, Tinkerbell... Oh, they're trading it for a card. I like it. Oh, I don't have any bodyguards, do I? I don't. Alright, let's go beast.
This move also has 10 willpower. <laughs> that is insane. All right, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of a hundred card singleton. What do you guys think of Commander in Lorcana? Commander without the Commander. And if they make Commander, uh, they have to call it Companion. Because <laughs> having a Disney Companion just seems fantastic. All right, let's just win the game. I was going to see if I could play Goof, but I can't.